making a base for my Artur laser. Right here, painted. First coat. We'll talk about it coming up. Watch it paint dry. This is exciting. So what am I making here? This is the base for my Artur Laser Master 2 Pro. This is uh, going to be part of the eventual enclosure. This will go inside the enclosure. I'll be able to still take this out and move it around if I need to or take it somewhere. Uh, doing a few things that are rather unique here. Uh, this will be the base that the laser itself will mount on. I'm 3D printing some uh, feet for it, which will allow me to elevate it at different heights. So I'll have the base pieces, which you'll see here in, in a while. Then I have different risers I could put in, a 25 millimeter, a 50 millimeter, and 100 millimeter. And I could even stack them. I can be like Tinker Toys. Make, no, I wouldn't do that. But it gives me different options. And I'll be putting a spoil board in here uh, made out of MDF that I'll be burning a grid on. But uh, what I'm, this is just the base. I've got the first coat of paint on. I'm waiting for it to dry. I'll put a second coat on it. And then I'll be mounting the laser to it. Once I get the laser mounted to it, I'll be cutting the spoil board that goes aside, and I'll show you that. I'll show you how the feed I printed will go on and how this elevation thing works. But for now, got to let some paint dry. Okay, so the paint dried, and I've got my laser sitting on the board here now, and these little blocks you see here I'm going to explain. Uh, if you look here on the corner, actually all four corners, the laser is, that's how it's mounted. It, doesn't move. I mean, it's it's solid. Of course, this is sitting on Lazy Susan right now. So what the purpose of these blocks are, are I can raise the laser up, and they work kind of like Legos. And I'll give you a little bit of an illustration here of what these are like. I'll get close up. I have a, a base here, and we'll get up close here with it. So this is one of the bases. This one is a little messed up, so I didn't use it. But there are one. There, there's one for each corner. And then there are riser blocks. This one happens to be 50 millimeter. And I've done this on a 3D printer. And I did it in 25 millimeter, 50 millimeter, and 100 meter, millimeter. Not 100 meters, because that would like be really tall. So if I want to put something taller on the laser, I can just add these blocks. And this part here is mounted permanently to the board. And there's pegs on here, like Legos. It just, boom, like that. I'll do a little demonstration here using the uh, 50 millimeter ones. Okay, one thing you'll, you will notice if you do choose to print these, and I'll put a, uh, a link in the description on where to download this from Thingiverse if you happen to have a 3D printer. These are not difficult to make. I didn't use a real fine resolution, so they're a little coarse, but this is a shop fixture. It's not fine furniture, so to speak. You'll notice one of them has a cutout. That is the corner that goes where the motherboard sets. The other ones are just square. So to do this, get all my pieces here, you just set the laser up out of the base. The one with the motherboard will go over here. Oh, the one with the motherboard goes with the one with the motherboard. I just spun around. There we go. Then the other ones just set like this. And you can take your laser. Set it right back in place like that. Now I have a higher elevated surface. That gets going to come in real handy, especially when I get the roller for this to uh, I decide to do any engraving on tumblers or glasses or something like that. Um, I primarily do tiles, but I wanted to have options to do some other things. You know, maybe I'd have a, uh, a wooden box I wanted to engrave the top on after it was already built. So I have a spoil board in here, and uh, this spoil board piece is 17 by 17 because... I had a piece laying around that was 17 by 17 and it fit in there and I didn't have to mess with the table saw. 
and I have it lined up so it is even with my 0 and 40s all the way around on here and I haven't engraved the grid pattern on here yet I haven't quite got to that but and this is mounted to this base with some uh, number six wood screws all four corners that came in an inch on each corner and I made sure it was not within the laser path not that that would really matter but it, it's not so that works out well there Okay, you're probably wondering by now, I drill out of the way here, what this guy is. I didn't really like the way that the this was fastened according to the uh, the factory recommendations by just tie wrapping it to that little spacer thing or, or the little post over here. Because I with it, it comes out right here, and then I could as I was messing with this, I could see this could flop down and get into your work. This is also off a of Thingiverse, and I don't remember exactly which one. I, if I still have that link, I will put it in the description. But this is not for this laser. This is, I modified this and re-drilled some holes. I used the 3mm uh, socket cap screws here and nuts to hold this in place. Passed my laser wire through the loop right here, and then threw a tie wrap on it just to keep it nice and taut. And I've played with this a little bit, and I don't have that flopping thing going on now. And it does not interfere with full travel. Full travel is not a problem at all. So, okay, the base here. This is uh, 27 inches by 27 inches. Uh, I'm going to be building an enclosure around this, and this will slide into that enclosure, and I'll be able to slide it out if I want to. I have some things in mind, some things I'm going to do uh, in the future is why this board is so much oversized and I needed some extra space on the side for some of the things I'm going to be putting inside the enclosure. Uh, you're, you don't have to have a base either, you can just build an enclosure and set it inside. This is just an idea I have, is something I want to do. Uh, the other thing I like with this is uh, the spoil board is solid in place, the laser is solid in place, and this makes a very solid base. So if I set this on something that was a little bit wobbly, I don't need to worry about the laser wobbling around because this base is very solid. Yes, it is heavy, but depends how much you're going to move it around. So that's a real quick thing on uh, what I've done with uh, to build a base and mount the spoil board and my what's going to be my guideline after I get that engraved for this or tour to master pro laser got anything out of this appreciate getting a thumbs up always helps the channel otherwise I'm Roger in the shop with the laser thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one